Hi, welcome to my video tutorial. I'm back on the iPad and I showed you the memo app last time. Now I'm looking at Audio Note. What I like about Audio Note is you can actually sync your recordings with your text. So if it's minutes in a meeting or notes or key points from a lecture, you can link them all. It's a really good option. Let's see how easy it is to use. I'm going to start Audio Note. First thing I'm going to show you is top right hand corner, which is the T, pen, highlighter, and camera. Now with the T option that's for your text, so if I actually tap on the screen it will bring up the keyboard automatically. OK. On the right it's for free drawing, so if you want to do a diagram or anything that's relevant to what you're actually doing in your text you can do that quickly for example. You might need a circle for something or even a square. If I change the colours, let's try a bit of orangey colour. You can just change exactly how you want it. So you can add all your notes. Also here, arrows, which can be useful to point out like a a mind map, certain ideas that you've got. Okay, so I'm going to use the eraser, get rid of that quickly. I could go top left hand corner with a plus button that gets rid of it and starts as a new one, but I just want to show you how you erase that anyway. So that's done. So I'll close that window and the highlights to highlight key points of your text. So what I'm going to do is show you how this works. I'm going to leave it on T because I'm going to put some notes in. Now I'm going to imagine we're in a meeting. I'm going to click the record button at the top and type a few notes. So I'll click record. I'm actually going to speak as I type. The reason being is in that way you can see how it syncs. So this is a meeting on nursing ideas. Now watch when I click enter. That time took four seconds. If I click return, that's when I started at four seconds, the first line. Now I can start typing. So this is my second line. You see it's gone to 28 seconds. They are working really well. And I am very pleased. Full stop. So I'm now going to click stop button. So there's our notes. So what you could do is click the highlight button and just tap with your stylus or your finger of maybe key points you want to highlight there. But let me show you how we can play that back and have that sync with the text. So what we need to do is click the playback button top right and now we're in playback mode. See where it's on the little hand? Now I can actually click on part of text that I want read back that will sync to actually the meeting. So if you look at the timeline at the top here, watch it change. So I'm going to click on day. See it's highlighted blue and that's gone to 28 seconds with the second line, 28 seconds syncing. So if I click play, it should play back at the same time. You see it's gone to 28 seconds. They're working really well and I am very pleased. Full stop. And there you go. It just syncs. It's such an easy way of getting all your notes together, sync with the audio and planning everything. So that's one option there. Also on the left, you can see it's got iCloud. So if I actually click on T, tap the glass, you can see on the left here we've got Edit. If I click this button here, you can actually export it over Wi-Fi on your network. Now, all networks have 192.168.03. It depends on your network. It could be dot .4, dot .5, and so on. So that's just an internal network. So if you have Wi-Fi, then that's worth using. I've not tried that out yet, so I don't know how good that is. Also, if you click this little button here, you can choose to open it in certain applications. You can even email it to yourself if you want or share over Wi-Fi which I showed you or just export as an audio file. Now if I click top left hand corner folders so you can send it to iCloud or Dropbox even. And there you go. So easy to do. Go back to folders and go back to iCloud. So there's my current note. So if I go to bottom left hand corner and click edit and then click on it. I can actually delete that now. See where I've ticked it by clicking the trash button. Delete and it's gone. Click back off high cloud, click done, and there you go, you're ready to go again. And that is how simple it is to use. If you've got, actually got a printer on your network or you've got a, a wireless printer, 
hit that button there and then you can just print off your copies as well of the text which will be really handy so it's a short tutorial to show you how it works I think it's a great little program for note taking by the way you know when you click on T and you click on the screen and you can actually type in your text as so you could also if you want to write your text in so if I click that button there pull up palm guard here change the color let's go to black get the eraser on there you could also add your own notes if you want freehand as well as using text and there you go thanks for watching learning made easy